Hello and welcome to today's video. Today we're going to talk about irregular verbs in the present tense. So we've already talked about the regular verbs and the radical changing verbs. And these are some that, that don't change in a predictable way. So a lot of these verbs are irregular in the first person and that's what we're going to concentrate on today. There are some more irregularities and we'll, we'll talk about them but let's try and concentrate on the first person irregulars. Before that Let's look at the regular verbs again. So let's revise the regular verbs. So this is important because the endings for the regular verbs are common right through. Even, even for the irregular verbs, the radical changing verbs, the endings don't change. So if they're irregular, it's not really the ending that's, that's irregular. So they're important to know these. So the first one are AOR verbs. Trabajar. Trabajo, trabajas, trabaja. Trabajamos, trabajáis, trabajan. That's the AOR. So it's O, AS, A, AMOS, AIS, AN. The EOR. COMO, COMES, COME, COMEMOS, COMEIS, COMEN. So the endings. O, S, E, EMOS, AIS, EN. And the IOR verbs. VIVO, VIVES, VIVE, VIVIMOS, VIVIS, VIVEN. So it's O, S, E, IMOS, IS, EN. Similar to the ER, just slightly different in these two forms here. In the nosotros y vosotros. So they're the regular verbs. Again, we have to know the, the endings of the, the regular verbs, even when we're looking at the irregular verbs, because the endings generally don't change. And that's, that's just to repeat. Verbos irregulares, the endings are regular. So let's look at some verbs. First one, dar, doy. So it's one of these groups of verbs that has oi in the first person. Dar, of course, is to give. Doy, das, da, damos, dais, dan. So let's look at some of the other, the other uh, oi verbs, because it's easier if we can group the verbs together to learn them and learn them as a group. Ir. To go. Boy, bas, ba, vamos, vais, van. Ser, to be. Soy, eres, es, somos, sois, son. And estar. Estoy, estás, está. Estamos, estáis, están. Of course, ser and estar both mean to be. There are differences. We will look at that in future blogs and videos. So, we have doy. Boy, soy, and estoy. They're the four main oi verbs, and if you can learn them together, it helps to it helps to, to remember. So let's look at another group of verbs, irregular ones. This is, these are these are verbs that take g. There's a g in the first person. Generally, then the other persons are regular or, or more or less regular. But it's the first person again we're concentrating on. So we have salir. Salir becomes salgo. Salir is to leave or go out. Salir. Salgo sale sale, sali, salimos, salis, salen. After salgo, it's perfectly regular. It's a regular IOR verb. So let's look at some more G verbs. Poner, to put. Pongo is the first person. Again. Pongo, pones, pone, ponemos, ponéis, ponen. Perfectly regular. I haven't finished it because we know the endings for the ER verbs. Just the regular endings. Let's look at another G verb. Decir. To say. ¿Cómo se dice I say in español? It's got a G. Digo. This is slightly irregular. It's actually a radical changing verb after decir. So digo, dices, dice, decimos, decís, dicen. It's the third, third kind of a radical changing verb. Again, if you need to revise that, we have a video about this already. So you can go back and check. Decir. Digo, dices, dice, decimos, decís, dice. Let's look at one, one or two more. Or G verbs. Oír. To hear, not to listen, really. 
it looks like listen it's to hear como se dice I hear oigo oigo after that it has the Y oyes oye oímos ois oyen and that is slightly irregular after the first person and some other G verbs very common hacer hago tener tengo venir vengo remember after this they become more or less regular hacer is totally regular tengo Tienes, tiene, vengo, vienes, viene. Tener and venir are almost the same in the, in the present tense. But today we're concentrating on the first person. So let's just revise the G, the G verbs again. Salir, salgo. Poner, pongo. Decir, digo. Oír, oigo. Hacer, hago. Tener, tengo. Venir, vengo. There's one more group. We get a Z. Conducir. To drive. Conducir. Conduzco. So this is how we pronounce it. Conduzco or conduzco. You can pronounce the Z both ways. Again, conduzco or conduzco. The soft version is more Latin American. Again, after that, it's totally regular. Conduzco, conduces, conduce, conducimos, conducís, conducen. It's a regular IOR verb after the first person. So we know another verb that's like this. Conocer. There are two, actually. Conocer, conozco. Parecer, parezco. Conocer is to know or to meet. Parecer, to seem. Again, after the first person, totally regular. Conoces, etc. So, conocer. Conoces. Conocer, conozco. Para hacer, parezco. Conducir. Conduzco. And there's one slight outlier, saber. And this is the one that most, uh, most people know anyway, although they forget it sometimes. Yo sé, or no sé. So it's a little bit of an outlier. So let's see if you can finish the conjugation. Das, da, damos, dais, dan. What's the first person? Como se dice? I give. Doi. Oh, doi. Exactly. It's one of these oi verbs. Let's see if we can do the next one. Boy, bas. How do we finish it? Ba. That's all it is. Ba. Boy, bas, ba. So here we have conducir. Conduces, conduce. Here the verb is totally regular. What do we need here? This is a Z verb. Conduzco. Conduzco. Remember, it's the it's the first person only that's irregular. Number four. Hago, haces. Como se dice? I do. Sorry, he does or she does. Hace. Digo. Como se dice? You say. Dices. Remember, the second and third person are nearly always the same. It's just an S difference. Digo, dices. Dice. Numero seis. So again, this is the outlier. I remember I mentioned it. This verb is totally regular all here, except for the first person. What's the strange first person? Se. 
Say no say. Okay, let's do some quick practice. We have a verb. And we have a pronoun. So let's actually just let's practice with the first person, because this is where the the irregularities usually come in, in these verbs. Verb is dar. The pronoun is yo. Como se dice? I give. Yo doy. Exacto. Yo doy. Let's try the next one. The infinitive is poner. Pongo. Exactly. Next one. Yo digo. Exactamente. It's a, one of the G verbs. This is not a G verb, and it's not an OI verb. Exactly, it's a Z verb. Conduzco. Another G verb. Salgo. Yo salgo. And the last one. Yo oigo. Exactamente. Okay, so let's let's try a pronoun that's not yo. So remember, most of these verbs are regular after the first person. So let's take them at random. El dice. Muy bien. El da. Let's make it a yeah as well. Again, it's the same form. A O L. Ella pone. Exactamente. Ella conduce. Ella sale. Ella oye. Okay, let's leave that for today. That We've done a lot of verbs and a lot of, of grammar and, and different forms of these verbs. If you need more practice, watch the video again. Or you can also check out the blog, do the extra exercises, and there's also a Quizlet or two there to help you practice these verbs. Thanks for watching today.